All right, what's up with it, y'all? It's your boy, Rock. And I'm coming back at y'all with some more nasty action on the Call of Duty, you know. I got the MP7 rolling again. You see, I got that gold on it. You know, I don't know if I put up the video with the gold MP7 yet, but I finally got it. But yeah, man, I was having having a lot of fun in this game right here. You know, that's why I, that's why I like to upload. But um, this commentary right here, man, I just want to come back and just, uh, I don't know, I guess kind of reflect up on, like, YouTube in general and like uh the people i came to meet and the people i've dealt with and the shit i've seen around youtube you know let's just talk a little bit about it and basically i just want to first at least get it let's get the good shit out the way first man uh i want to talk about the people that helped me like along the way Be basically the people that helped me get to where i'm at and uh you know so i, I guess i'll just basically go off and list I actually wrote them. Well, I, I ain't really. I, I wrote what what I thought in my head down, just some names real quick. But uh, you know, my homeboy Dro. He was the first person on YouTube, man. My boy Texas Dro. He was the first person on YouTube, man. Really get back at me. You know what I'm saying? We did. We did the whole uh, set for set thing. Put my set back, set box on this channel, and it was cool. It was, it was basically another YouTuber I can go and talk to, when you know, just if something going down on YouTube, you know. So, uh, I mean, I was cool, and then, you know, I had other dudes like uh, Jive Turkey. He came, and, and he told me straight up, like, yo, what up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he was like, man, what's, what's poppin', man? You know, I see you doing your YouTube thing. I can help you out. So, you know, I used to uh, I used to do video responses. He featured my video on his channel. You know, a bunch of shit like that, man. Same with Joe. They all did pretty much the same thing, man. Uh, you know, some dudes that really helped me come along inside this whole YouTube thing. And then, you know, you got other dudes like Frog the Barber. You know what I'm saying? Like, came through, showed love, gamed with me when he was on this, on this whole uprise, you know? And then, uh, then there was another dude named Zyback, which, uh, he came to me and he liked my gameplay. I guess he, he used to be a sub. I don't know if he still watched my videos, but, um, you know, he... He had me upload videos to his channel, which in turn uh, gave me more subscribers and more views because people saw my videos on his channel and brought traffic to my channel, which I, I really appreciate that. And then I got other dudes like uh, my homeboy Rambar28. Uh, he the dude that made my background for my channel. One of the first, he was actually one of the first dudes I, uh, I box for box. Like, you know, you put the person uh, profile on your, on your YouTube channel. And it was cool, man. Then you. You know, had uh, other people that's been been good supporters like uh, Flamero and, and Fifty Huds. You know, hey, ex Flamero, where you been at, man? You need to up upload some YouTube vids, man. Don't don't let the views get you down, <laughs> for real, man. Keep them coming. But uh, yeah, cool cats like that, dudes like Shake, Shake Down 2012. You know what I'm saying? Dudes like that come through, show love. You feel me? Uh, Fifty Huds, my homeboy Slapside, and then you know I got I got to give a uh, you know a shout out to my homeboy right past Fifty. You know he he the one that really got me started on Call of Duty straight up. He the one that told me to go buy War that War and and get on it, and he showed me the ropes. You feel me? He gave me the starter kit because I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. When I first started playing uh, Call of Duty, I was a camper. I used to sit in the I used to find a good corner. <laughs> And I used to sit sit in the corner and basically wait on people and try and get the drop on them and try and get dogs. You know what I'm saying? But I started playing with him and I was seeing how he is running and gunning. And he knew that's how I played. I run and gun because on SOCOM, that's what I do. You know, at heart, that's where I came from, man. I was a SOCOM player. And that's what that's what we used to do, run and gun. And I, he was a video game tester with me, my homeboy right past 50. Um, you know, shout out to my boy uh, Killer Pierre, you know. Um... And then you know you got other other dudes like like uh, the homeboy uh, Thunder Toro. I call him Thunder Toro because that's when he first came to one of my videos and showed love. Then he changed the name to Legend of Thunder, but it was all good, man. He came, showed love, and it it, it, it was just a good feeling, man, to see that dudes that's uh, a lot bigger than you. I think he was at like fifty, sixty thousand subs in, just coming and showing love, man, and it, it it felt good. And that's that's the thing about YouTube. Why I put up videos was basically just to help people. I wanted to get people, that was my goal in this game, to get people moving around to, you know, I, I really wanted people to stop camping, to show what you could actually do. Because a lot of people, 
when you play this game, you just pick up the game and you play, but you don't know any strategies. You don't know any uh you don't know any routes to take. Uh you don't know about hip fire. Like, you know, like you don't know certain stuff. And I noticed like when I when I first came to the YouTube scene, um, it's funny because the first person I started watching was Wings of Redemption. And the only reason I started watching Wings of Redemption was because I saw his video where he got two nukes in one game. And I was like, oh shit. So I'll just, I'll start continuing to watch his videos. And you know, I noticed some tips. And the reason why I watched his videos is because I like getting tips from him because I see what the campers would do. So he basically give you tips for campers and I just basically think, think of ways to counter it. And you know, I was watching him for a while, watching him, and then I'm like, man, what, what's going on? So I already knew it was dudes like Wings of Redemption, Hutch. Um, what was the other dude name? Okay, Taves, C Nanners. Like I'm like, dude, I, I see all these dudes, they good at the game, which is okay, which is cool. I like watching them getting tips. But where's the dudes with flavor at? Where where the dudes that got that got some flavor in it? Where where the brothers? Where the Mexicans at? I, I ain't trying to be racist, but you know what I'm saying? Like it just seemed like it wasn't none, nothing but a bunch of white dudes doing it. So I was like, all right, cool, this is my time, man. I could uh I'll come on, get me a PVR. I guess I'll be the first black commentator. But then, while I was waiting for my uh, PVR to come, you know, I was searching around to actually see. I mean, only actually see, because, you know, I never really searched too much. I only saw the big dudes. I never went and, and looked at the small dudes that was coming up on my side. So, the first person I ran into was this dude named Louis, uh, Louisiana Kid. And I was looking at him. I'm like, damn, okay, he seemed cool. So, you know, I started watching him. Then I ran in the, uh, I think I ran in the shakedown. And I saw his channel, then I saw Frog, then I saw Jive, and I saw NASA, and I'm like, yo, what, what, where these dudes been at? And, you know, and I'm, I am sat back thinking, like, you know, they only got, like, that was back when NASA had, like, what, 4,000 subs? Jive only had, like, three, like, I don't know, they had, their subs was, was real low compared to what they got now, but, you know, I was like, okay, cool. So, you know, I tried to get on with them, and, and NASA showed love, Jive showed love, Jive showed major love, <laughs> For real though, John came through, man. But uh, yeah, man. And to all those dudes I named, I just want to say right on. And um, you know, this whole Modern Warfare Three thing, it seemed like people think it's a death of Call of Duty. I don't think it's a death of Call of Duty. I really just think that they really just dropped the ball in this game because every single commentator that played this or uh, played Call of Duty, played Modern Warfare Three, we've all went back. Hopped on, hopped on, and you see, I go back, I get games like this. Like, don't get it twisted, I still have fun, but, you know, it's days like today when I hopped on, and, you know, you hop on, you get an AC-130, right, when you call it in, a bitch that went 18 and 14 calls in an EMP. You're like, okay, whatever, I lost that AC-130, I'll go get another one. You get your other AC-130, and it, then this friend that's 19 and 22 calling another EMP. And it, it's shit like that that pisses me off. You know, that's the reason, that's the frustration factor in this game, like, it's like, why am I even playing if a person that's weak, and I ain't even trying to talk shit, but it's like, you don't deserve to take my AC-130 if you die 22 times. <laughs> uh, I didn't really want to come on here complaining, but it's like, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, though, man, I'm having a lot of fun with this whole YouTube thing. I just, uh, you know, I was sitting back reflecting today, and I also want to thank Yoush, man. Yoush, uh, they went ahead and accepted me today today uh whole partnership program thing and, and it's cool it's cool i haven't i haven't really gotten paid for it yet i don't know i'm really not too worried about this it. honestly <laughs> i know it sounds kind of funny but i just i just wanted commercials on my video so i can feel like i'm doing something <laughs> nah for real though man but you know at the end of the day man you know you have fun with this at least that's what i hope y'all do i hope people don't come on trying to be like wings of redemption just trying to make money off this shit and I don't know I kind of felt bad for the dude and then at the same time I didn't because he said some shit on Twitter like <laughs> I forgot what he said like I hate my life or something like that like it's something about you this it, it was something crazy but you could tell he was playing just a little bit too much Modern Warfare 3 but yeah man I can't wait till Black Ops 2 come out you know uh I mean, because that's the thing. You know, I want to bring y'all good gameplays, good strategies. But on this game, Modern Warfare 3, it's only so much strategy you can bring. I mean, shit, they got that support package would kill everything to me. Then they got the specialist package will make nobody play the objective. And I don't know, it's just a, it's a lot of bullshit, man. I never even really talked about that. I've been meaning to make a commentary talking about 
what I think about specialists. Me personally, I don't like specialists. I think specialists will only be able to be used in team deathmatch. But that's me personally, man. I don't know how y'all feel about it. Um, but yeah, man, it's your boy Rock. I didn't really want this commentary to be this long, but it was some shit I had to get off my chest, man. I had to get off my chest. And uh, yeah, man, I, I guess I'll say it from next commentary. It's been your boy, y'all. All right, y'all. Peace.